डॉक्टर कृपा सिंधु नायक सर सर विल टेक क्लास ऑन टुडे अर्बनाइजेशन अर्बन सोशियोलॉजी अर्बनाइजेशन एंड इट्स इम्पैक्ट एंड ही विल स्पीक ऑन लेवल ट्रेंड्स एंड पैटर्न्स एंड मैरिज फैमिली एंड किनशिप ट्रेडिशनल नेबरहुड्स एंड मॉडर्न सिटीज एंड यूनिट एटीन अर्बन इन्फ्लुएंसेस ऑन रूरल एरियाज सो नाउ आई वेलकम हार्टिल यू वेलकम यू ऑल एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर कृपा सिंधु सर हुई एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन कलिंग इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ सोशल साइंसेस टू स्टार्ट दिस सेशन सर ओवर टू यू सिंबल तो ऑडियो सिंबल को अनम्यूट करंदु लेफ्ट टेबल रीजन करबे बुध बटन हां यस ही हैज जॉइंड वेलकम सर सर टिके अनम्यूट कर दियो तो सेठी क्लिक कर के अनम्यूट कर दियो तो सर हेलो हेलो यस सर हला सर यस सर हला ओके ओके यस सर यस सर हम सेटा ही आसी पर ने सेटा ही कंफ्यूजन दे पर जंत हो ठीक है थैंक यू ऑडिबल गुड आफ्टरनून हां गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द टॉपिक अर्बनाइजेशन एंड इट्स इंपैक्ट सो इन दिस अर्बनाइजेशन एंड इट्स इंपैक्ट वी हैव कवर लेवल ट्रेंड्स एंड पैटर्न्स marriage family and kingship traditional neighborhood and modern city urban influence on rural area as we know to student of sociology urban sociology is a one of the major part of the sociology so we are going to the uh, what do we mean by urbanization i think it is already covered by unit 1 now we are going to start the impact particularly if you see the urbanization aspect it's a deal related to the population according to the population census of india the urban starts to settlement when at least 70% of its male worker are engaged in the non agricultural sector and when it satisfy some other standards regarding size density of the population when an area and growth is size density and heterogeneity 
and assume urban social cultural economical ecological physical and political features and declare as urban by the state administrator it is called urban some ideal type features you can include so uh, we generally taken as urban include non agricultural occupations a big size of population in a given area high density of population socio and cultural heterogeneity of population large scale divisions of labor and economy based primary on industry commerce tourism concentration of facility like modern communication transportation banking education health administration so many things can be covered up under the features of urbanization so particularly the impact is much more on the rural area if you see the uh, particular the level then you can understand the urbanization is often defined in the term of proportion of urban population to total population this measures of urbanization attach great value to the human and social dimension of urbanization two more important features of urbanization first one is that towns or the rural people in terms of socio economic changes and the larger the rural people serve the each towns on average the lowest level of the urbanization the second features you can take the urbanization concerns about the distance the rural people have to cover the rich nearest to urban center that is what we can say the rural and urban features you can add it so for the trend is concern urbanization urbanization is the uh, urbanization in the world india urbanization level is still, still low although urbanization has a gain some speed in the post independent period from 1990 data we can see that 42.7% of the world population was living in the urban area if you see the annual growth rate of population in india has declined from 3.1% during 1981 to 191 to 2.7% during 91 to 2001 the decades 1971 to 81 had recorded the highest annual growth rate of 3.8% but the last two decades have recorded decelerating growth rate in india the percentage of the urban population has gone up from 23.773 in 81 to 25.72 in 91 and finally now 27.78 in 2001 if you see the um, some of um, measures reason for the growth of urbanization in india one natural in, uh, natural increases growth of new towns outside the amalgamation merging of town and jurisdictional change and agglomeration and rural urban migration so far the population population basis we classify according to the population census the population size of a different town is fragmented in differently so if you see the classification then we can see the uh, size of the population class 1 towns that is 1 lakh or more class 2 towns 50000 to 99900 approximately and class 3 town 20000 to 49000 class 4 town from 10000 to 19000 class 5 from 5000 to 900000 and class 6 below 5000 so on the basis we were classified the towns according to census now we come to the uh, level of urbanization in 2000 classify india into a different three groups also group 1 group b group c so on the basis also it has demarcated by the census 
if you see the census 2001 classification group a generally it is uh, it is deal urbanization populations higher than the national average of 27.72 percent and group b consisting of state and union territory with moderate level of urbanization more than 20 percent but less than the national average and group c consisting state and union territory with low urbanization within the less of 20 percent of urbanization to total population of the state union territory so who is which state is come under the group one group b group c we can identify particularly group one cover delhi goa gujarat haryana karnataka maharashtra mizoram punjab tamil nadu west bengal andaman nicobar chandigarh daman dew lakshadweep pondicherry these are the come under the groups a and group b covers arunachal pradesh chatisgarh jammu kashmir jharkhand kerala madhya pradesh manipur rajasthan uttar pradesh uttaranchal daman nagar and haveli and group c come under assam bihar himachal pradesh meghalaya nagaland orissa sikkim and tripura these are the things come under the different group group a group b group c according to the uh, populations classification so which is we can identify these are the major 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 state state which come under the population wise division in 1990 with the economical liberalization when the uh, economical liberalization taken place then the liberalization after liberalization there are so many changes taken place in india so for the urbanization in concern before that there is, it is very less impact or less urbanization seen in india after liberalization 1990 under the leadership of uh, uh, our honorable prime minister some rao was there in 1990 towards liberalize the indian economy for which some sort of changes taken place in the urban setup so it due to liberalization there are so many significant investment of foreign corporate capital expansions of commercial activity economic ad, ad, activity advance in different state on the basis so many impact also undertaken there are so many employment opportunity so many changes taken place in the urbanization we can say the concentration of industrial commerce commercial development activity in the urban area create employment and earn, earning opportunity which in turn not only sustain the urban workforce but also draw additional workforce from outside the urban area especially from the poverty invest infested rural area and economically stagnant small town after economical liberal liberalization the general economic trend is that while the corporate sector of industry is growing the public sector and small scale industry either facing stagnants or gradual decline the fact the fast growth growing high tech corporate sector in capital intensive and therefore the employment generation capacity of the sector is limited so this is how the after liberalization uh, the in urbanization taken place in the post independence in the rural poverty has been more intensive and widespread than the urban poverty with the growth of population the pressure of pressure of uh, men on land has also increased over the year although the ratio of non agricultural occupation has increased the non agricultural sector in rural economy has failed to arrest the city bound migration of the rural poor in the recent year however the intensity of the rural poverty is failing and gap between urban and rural poverty is also narrowing down so this is how the uh, impact of the urbanization in 
Indian society or India, particularly we can say the um, the trends of trends uh, trends and patterns of level of urbanization in Indian society. Now we are going to shift the how its impact on the family, marriage, and kingship. So if you see the impact of family, marriage, and kingship in India, it is also very important to know that the automatically the rural and urban setup somehow it will bit influence each other. We cannot say that uh, urban urbanization influence much more to the rural at the same time rural also influence to the urban India. If it has some sort of study undertaken by different eminent sociologists, anthropologists, how the urbanization impact to the uh, family, how the urbanization impact to the kingship and particularly the marriage system also. Somehow its impact. If you see the structural process of changes which is associated with the movement of migration of the people from rural to urban area, it is generally related to industrialization, but it is not always that result of industrialization. It result due to the concentration of the large scale and small scale industrial and commercial financial administrative setup, the city technological development and transportation, communication, cultural, recreational activity also leads to industrialization. Most of the time we say the urbanization taken place because of the industrialization, not, not exactly like that. So if the uh, changes of urbanization, um, changes taken seen in the urbanization the in India, the process beside, besides reflecting economical growth, political changes, changes in value and attitude has also revealed elements of continuity between the rural and urban structure. Therefore, any discussion of urban social structure in India is in terms of its basic social institution such as family, marriage, kingship and caste. All these four aspects are closely related to each other in both rural as well as urban structure. If you see the marriage aspect, institution of marriage, how its changes taken place in the institution of marriage. So marriage, already we as a student of sociology, definitely we know the heart marriage institutions is very important for the society and how it is created better society. The institution of marriage is very helpful to lead a better socialization process and improve the relationship. Social institutions have been defined as a network of social relationship in society which are relatively permanent. The institution exists only so far the people act in certain ways. It's manifest only as a patterns of behavior. The social institution in Indian city as a marriage, kingship, family, caste and religion should be conceptualized occurrence and complex set of social interaction. So it has so many impact on family marriage life due to the modern education full of Western thought and idea, emancipation of women and the association of young men and women with various political social organization, new idea which are incompatible with the traditional norms, value are nurtured among the youth in city. As a result, their attitudes toward the traditional norm changes. A new value develop which affect the marriage, kingship and family. Generally, the uh, traditional form of marriage, if you see, then the we can better understand. For example, if you uh, the marriage system in the um, traditional time, the uh, the the partner was choice taken by the parent but now in the due to the modernization due to the education of the youth are taking their own decisions independently for which why they are taking the they are taking independently because they get the education they know they choose the right partner that is what the idea values are changes after the 
modernization if you see some significance of aspect of changes that's notice that young young generation have seen particularly individualistic attitudes are develop by such influence they take their own decision even they are matter of merit they became less caste conscious than they are elder and 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 which is their inter inter caste relations inter caste created difference in many cases the objection of the such inter caste marriage by the parent was there but not always due to the caste consideration it is observed that her more important consideration exists behind parental opposition that caste of their child's bride's groom these were mainly the lack of wealth and status in the pact partner whether these factors were favorable the parent had given their consent and cooperation to the marriage or ignoring the caste difference which basically when you choose the partner so the parents take the decisions which to which caste belongs to and the economic status so many things they have to see the thing so on that basis the partner will be decided the bride will be decided but unfortunately due to the uh, due to the, the due to the urbanization the per decisions making of the parents is lacking and the mm, and the, per, uh, the 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 person the educated men take their decision to choose their partner on their own basis so it is somehow it is uh, it's impact the the traditional system of marriage in india if you see another changes observed by this particularly if you see the uh, sociologists anthropologists the urban area the age at marriage has been increasing as you know the age of marriage of a girls is 18 and boys is 21 but so far in the rural area if you see there is no there is no age age problem for in india, uh, in the rural area basically they do not know they do not aware about all those so most of the uh, most of the girls are married before the age of 18 if you see the statistic of uh, marriage in india particularly in the rural area but when we talk about the urban area they are conscious about the age of marriage so definitely we can understand it has a more impact in the urban urban area how the marriage taken place the questions that comes to the self choice of arranged marriage still remain debatable point in india youth are increasingly allowed the right of of the decision for their marriage without the means to make it therefore it is quite clear from the available evidence that situation in urban area is not automatically conducive to increase the freedom of choice for one marriage since marriage is still closely to tie to the family automatically it is a it is one kind of very good tie between the relationship we cannot take the decisions independently it is definitely related to the family members we take consider the view of the family member which is very much important but when the uh, when we talk about the urbanization the, the person who is going to marry they have some sort of independence view to how to marry it it will be the decisions of the individual who is going to marry it's like this there are other significant Uh, aspect also impact on the uh, marriage system like say, say caste endogamy particularly in uh, india the marriage taken place within the own caste groups but uh, it is a change in the urban setup particularly if you see the arranged marriage are contracted traditionally within one's own caste but according to the kapadia the family in urban india found that 51% out of 513 university graduate interviewed express their willingness to give their children in marriage outside their own caste but only once there were against their departure from the tradition these changes of attitude is reflected in opinion rather than actual practice so caste consider are still playing a major role in the marriage system still after 20 years after 2020 also even though uh, our indian society <coughs> is still uh, not changes very fast so like family also 
it has so many changes taken place in indian society when you talking about the family in indian family is particularly talking about the joint family uh, but due course of the time we said that generally due to the industrialization urbanization most of the joint family became a nuclear family but it is not exactly like that there are so many reasons behind the nuclear family so generally we comprise more than two generation of members such as married couple their children's married unmarried or one or both pattern this type of family we can said at a joint family but nuclear family consist of husband wife and unmarried children if you see the indian history most of the family in india was joint family but due course of the time due to the westernization influence urbanization and education most of the people get educated that due to the their working they work in different city towns so definitely their family became separated and they became a nuclear so it is how it how it how anyhow the changes seen in the family aspect also so initially the process of urbanization lead to declines in the family size weakening of the family tie and break up the joint family system into a nuclear family system generally most of the time when you talking about the joint family the all the decisions are taken by the elder person of the family member but here are we talking about the nuclear family the decisions is taken by the only the only the male members of the society because in india it is a patriarchal family where the all the decisions are taken by the male member but that's all. that's also some sort of changes taken place in urban setup when we are working in the urban area the both uh, husband wife both are take the decisions in india which is impact of the family in indian society so for the rural family is concerned most of the time it is a patriarchal society where the uh, the the father who is the head of the family who is taken the decision in the rural aspect rural rural family that is how the differences we can see the how the the family impact in urban area how the family in rural area so on this basis different study also undertaken by there are so many uh, anthropology sociology we can see the mukherji studied by 1965 were reported that common assumption his data does not suppose their believe that joint family organization is not linked with the urban way of life his study indicate clearly that joint family organization increasingly progressively as one shift from village to small town to large city or from non industrial growth through part industrial to higher industrial town particularly if you see there are so many study undertaken by there are so many uh, great sociologists like sah mukherjee gandhi so they have so many undertaken how it influence the family the urban urbanization how it's influence so we can take further the state family changes may be introduced by such factor of higher education particularly why it is changes because of the higher education modern patient and bureaucratic population however we found that neither of these factor not even industrial occupations were found to have any significant change in the joint family generally we talk about the uh, due to these factors are very important to influence the family system but uh, other way around if you see it, these also not influence much more to the joint family as well as nuclear family so if you see the uh, national register data where we can found the assumption that the people in city towns lives in nuclear family with joint family are stronger in the villages is incorrect contrary to this opinion he found during his study uh, uh, kem kapadia one of the great sociologists in 1956 he studied it and he proved it uh, around particularly in gujarat bombay maharashtra these are the Uh, st- uh, these are state undertaken under his study and he proved his uh, study that 
the concept of opinion which is existed which is incorrect in contrary to this opinion and others way around we can find some other study also like family household in urban context that not only kingship is found to be important principle of the social organization in city but also there is a structural co cognitivity between the joint family on the one hand and the requirement of industrial and urban life on the other if you see the milton singer in 19 uh, milton singer he study 19 family of outstanding business leader in the chennai city and he discovered and he uh, he finally proved that compartmentalization of traditional value and lifestyle in the area of home and modern professional outlook for the business or company of their officer this need not be any conflict between these two he argue modification version of traditional joint family is consistent with the urban industrial setup particularly the the setup of urban area which is also play a significant role in the uh, family life where we are going to set up in the urban area that is also matters very important like way there are so many important changes taken play in the family system also as well as it influence in the uh, marriage uh, rural, um, family aspect also so for the relation is concerned it is exist in the urban setup also people people like uh, there are so many those who are migrated from the rural area to urban area they cannot jump over the uh, jump over the uh, attitudes idea of the modern moderns moderns on nature rather than they develop their uh, they change slowly slowly in the later on that is why you cannot say that totally it is change their attitudes what it was before so if you see the kingship system also kingship system also you can see how it is changes in the uh, continuity and changes taken place in urban setup in the kingship pattern in indian society they generally viewed the context of jo hindu joint family which is much more attention will be given there are so many study also undertaken under the kingship system like who took in 1972 he believed that because of patrilineal emphasis in north indian kingship system a wife is expected to interact with most frequently intensively with her affins agnes of her husband and their wife however the mere she found that the significant number of married women who live in near their natal king interact more frequently with them than with the affinal king it is true that under such circumstances the bonds between the women and her natal king could be stronger as such interaction as face to face primary reciprocal and they tends to maintain the continuity and solidarity with their natal kin unit so this is how we can see the Uh, kingship system also influence somehow and at the same time is maintain the uh, relationship between the natal king so this storm changes patterns of kingship in urban india particularly we observe strong analogies between the continuity and changes we have seen it however increasing the new local residents changes in the outward form of observable patterns of kingship may be changed in a degree and not in a kind although the urban rural difference were not found to be statistically significant the study undertaken by so many researcher in this aspect so in this way we can say the continuity and changes are seen in the urban area a particularly family marriage kingship and we we know that the impact of urbanization in social institution like marriage family kingship we find that that is kind of a revolutionary approach to western scholar from durkheim to ferdinand tonis louis or their influence study on so urban sociology 
but in indian context also we have a several study on marriage in family in urban area like ip desai kem kapadia radhakumal mukherji am sa they also have study in in india as well as the milton singer is one of the great study on urban area how the family marriage kingship influence in indian society as well so now we going to the neighboring traditional neighboring and modern city how the traditional neighbor and modern city influence in india impact on india generally neighbor is a community of family living in a close proximity over a period of time and therefore influence each others life in village and small towns neighborhood provide a canvas of social network defining society at large in large industrial city neighborhoods were seen as the microcosms of large world generally what we said the neighbor would play a significant role in our life because it also influence to our life generally the family if you see the primary aspect of the uh, charles kule uh, charles kule the writings of primary group and secondary group he discussed the development of the looking glass self highlighted the significance of the role played by the neighbor in the shaping the personality in individual how it uh, influence the personality life it will be more impact on the primary group and secondary group so on this basis we can say the traditional neighborhood denotes locality with ethnic enclave or settlement of the family with the identical value idea and lifestyle these are the places where relationship between the neighbors are close direct intimate as opposed to the idea of cosmopolitan heterogeneous urban settlement if you see the neighborhoods of uh, rural area and urban area how they are uh, uh, their value relationship changes in the rural area as well as urban area. we can generally categorize the uh, differences we can see if you see the close physical proximity we can see in the neighbor particular in the rural area whereas in the metropolitan city cosmopolitan city or town also somehow it is changes the neighbors have not close contact with the uh, other neighbors this is how the changes taken place in urban setup so there are also so many study undertaken under the uh, neighboring hoods so the styles patterns and uh, styles of uh, housing patterns of neighborhood we can sort in this study the most of this study uh, signify the two factor two importance factor the, due to the emerging of western metropolitan city social contentments and sociologists with functionalist orientation had predicted loss of shared value but secondly the neighborhood study fallacies the assumption that the modern city ethnicity would lose their importance as most of the neighborings were based on race and ethnicity particularly we talking about the uh, ethnic is aspect is much more important to the neighborhood is concerned when we, when this takes place then we can understand how these the uh, neighbors influence to the other neighbors in urban area so it has some important uh, uh, impact also the tradition and modern impact in the neighbor if you see the rural and urban area the traditional neighborhood they particularly do not old patterns of the life but in see the other others way around the, they are others uh, aspect like the uh, the practice of uh, uh, population with low quality amenity deterioration housing condition no governmental investment market this locality these are the things we can found in the traditional patterns of neighbor but if you see the somehow the middle classes the rich population on the other hand 
inhabit in the city area the locality are more amenities large plot of land more service scarce population these are the modern neighborhood with the up marketing style form of these are the very important neighborhood relationship between the tradition and modernity if you see uh, the the in the modern area in the urban area the uh, sub urban and ethno urban aspect also if you see the one of the uh, one of the uh, sociology study where he is, uh, he retain the books he he reminds us the sub urban means an outgrowth of the city today however in many city around the world there are not just a sub urban but also a super urban within the urban area also there is some differences between the sub urban ethno urban these are the things we have to know when we discussion about the urban sociology the concept of uh, 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 sub urban is very important role in the uh, neighboring aspect also when ethno urban we talking about the the concept of ethno urban coined by the one of the great geographer willy who is mean suburban ethnic clusters of residential area and business district in the land that means there are some urban area also there is some subset sort of groups in different area so we can categorize in different groups different area on the basis of suburban ethno urban and technological due to the technological advance so ethno urban is a new outpost in the global economy global economy which emerged out of the influence of international geopolitical global economy restructuring due to the due to the changing national immigration and trade and policy local demographics economic and political context also result in making of the ethno urban if you see that due to the urbanization due to the, uh, due to the liberalization this uh, neighbor, this this uh, ethno ethno urban society has been created they are migrated from the different country and they establish different set of in the urban area that culture they created in a different set of so it particularly through the television ethno urban is instantaneously link with the country of home the Im imagine community of ethnic recognition around the world so it acts a engine of sub urban hybridization reproducing in the process of ambiguity of modernity particularly when you talking about the ne Uh, neighboring hood due to the different groups who are settled in the urban area they have uh, they have different group in different area on the basis of different ethnic uh, ethnical groups whenever they uh, they settle in a different area in the urban setup they have some sort of connection within them likes in the community uh, in the community in our rural area we have seen the one kind of uh, uh, feelings with a direct face to face contact in the community level in the rural area but if you see in the urban area there are some group have reside in some set of area who have some sort of a uh, modern modern relationship within the uh, groups which is distinct from the others uh, others area that is how when you talking about the urbanization it is given more importance how its neighborings are influenced to the others neighbors in different urban set of is very important in urban sociology like way we can see other aspect also when you talking about the uh, urban influence on the rural area we have a so many influence in the rural area particularly when you talking about the impact of uh, urban in economics definitely it has a so many impact of urban urban influ influence to the rural area for which most of the rural people are migrated to the urban area which is 
very much important to understand when you talking about the urban sociology as well as there is a occupational changes taken place in the rural area it is a influence of the urbanization most of the times we see the occupational changes are taken, seen in the rural area because of their influence of urban setup most of the people are migrated to the rural to the urban after uh, after living in the urban area they go back to the rural area and they start new kind of occupation in the rural area which is one of the major influence of the occupational aspect is concerned as well as the political social and cultural influence also more impact on the urbanization if you saw talking about the urbanization of uh, 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 urbanization of uh, uh, economic influence is importance when you talking about how its importance to the urban setup particularly the economics is very importance in the rural area how the urban impact through migration why people are migrated to the rural area if you see india is a uh, agricultural country only they have get the job they work the job they work only 3 month 3 to 4 month in the rural area because their agriculture work is completed within the 3 to 4 month after that they cannot do anything though they have no job in the rural area that is why these people are migrated to the urban area why they are migrated to the urban area because they have to they have sort the job which is not available in the rural area that is why they migrated to the urban setup to get the employment in the urban area because in the urban area there are so many work available in different area which is they get the employment availability there there are another uh, opportunity which is not available in the rural area that is how the urban impact through taken place in the rural particularly when talking about there are three major rural urban migration we can identify first one the villagers in which a significant proportion of populations have uh, sought to employment in a far urban area as because the work is not available in the rural area that is how they have come to the urban area and get employment and they uh, rit and they send their money to their own family so that family became established in the rural area which is much more impact on the migration aspect if you see the most of the rural setup most of the people if you uh, as for the uh, present scenario is concerned the corona virus situation is concerned if you see most of the people around in odisha we talking about the odisha around 5 lakhs odias are working in different state that what do you means the people from the rural area they migrated different state for getting employment because they do not have employment of opportunity in the rural area that is why they are not staying in the rural they migrated to, to the urban area as well as their livelihoods maintains as well as their support to the family which is much more importance in urban sociology is concerned second kind of impact is the village particularly the industrial town particularly when the uh, people from the rural area they migrated to the industrial area town they have faced so many problem but the importance is that how much it will be influenced to the uh, uh, or uh, urban impact to the rural area that is very important another um, third importance is the uh, 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 particular the metropolitan city which is very uh, important aspect in the urban sociology particularly in the or metropolitan city there are so many facility and the opportunity which is available different work different industry different factory mining so there are so many employment opportunity generated in the metropolitan city that is why people from the uh, rural area they migrated to the urban area that is why the uh, majority people migrated in urban area for economy purposes as well as there are so many influence 
taken place in uh, particularly uh, when we talking about the urban influence there are social influence economical influence political influence cultural influence there are so many influence undertaken we have seen due to the urban setup if you say the economy influence we already said uh, other aspect also commercialization of agriculture which is much more important in uh, in india when you talking about the market economy uh, of urban place of a large scope of choice in term of farming the best example of this is one traveling from village to any urban area it is apparent that as one near any town there is a more of vegetable fruit flower crown and staple food item like rice wheat or pulse so these are the things which can we can see in the marketize the agriculture in the urban setup which is not possible for the rural area that is how it is influence marketization of the agricultural aspect in the rural area urban area much more than the rural area. this facility is not available in the rural area which is very much important to know it as a urban sociology and particularly when we uh, when you talking about the uh, period of the globalization aspect it is much more important the influence of economy we most recognize the urban area not only provide opportunity to the villagers to sell their agricultural product but also supply labor as everything the supply of the availability of labor from farm activity is often affected by the employment opportunity offered by the urban area if you see the uh, possessions of the land and acquired resources determine the entire villagers into urban marketplace education and contact with the people in influential position in city and town help them getting the quality of job this is how the, the due to the globalization people from the rural area they can sell their labor through different or uh, different industry different area which is very much important because of this facility and opportunity by the influential position people who taken over the people from rural area to urban area and they have work in the urban setup which is very important for globalization aspect particularly when you urbanization influence on particular the household aspect is concerned it's adopt a different combination of occupation also occupation of morbidity is very important under the impact of modernization globalization many of the villagers tends to combine the both traditional and modern occupation in household if you see the husband may be working in a urban area as a clerk peon or as call center worker in casual or regular basis which wife may be working as a farm laborer so these kind of things will be exist in the rural and urban area we can see from different aspect other important consequence of exposures of the rural economy to the regional and national market through the neighboring urban center and resultant changes in occupational structure is sharpening the agrarian inequality particularly we launching of the program of globalization and structural reform in country often leads to rapid growth of few large city their periphery entrepreneurs from the national and global market invest industry most of the coming up in and around a large city due to this uh, liberalization globalization process the entrepreneurships also increasing in the rural urban area most of the people they establish their own industry own farm own factory own entrepreneurs are developed due to the influence of the globalization it is it is because of the the facility and opportunity availability in the urban setup that is why most of the people are attracted or influenced by the 
urbanization aspect as well as the politics is concern if you see the historically there are so many uh, there are so many kings the british ruler were ruled in india and they are dominantly ruling in india there are so many years as well as the dominant caste also a uh, custodian for some sort of administration aspect but some sort of influence are changes when after the national freedom movements during post independent period the lot of changes took place in the political structure of the villagers part of this we can see the awareness generated among the various caste groups due to social movements such as arya samaj brahma samaj these are the uh, samaj which influence or changes the uh, political scenario of india how the people are getting opportunity in the political level and change their change their relations between the dominant and sub sub dominant caste when uh, later had opportunity to become a political independent we can take a best examples of uh, uh, after independence the people after the there are so many uh, institutionalization and reservation undertaken by the uh, reservation for the uh, under privileged sections of the society dr b r ambedkar who is drafted by the constitution and he is putting the reservation for the different caste people so they can they do not Uh, get the opportunity the political participation but after the uh, uh, after the after independence or after the institutionalization of our panchayat raj there are so many lower caste po- lower caste people also participate in the political level if you see, see the panchayat raj which is very important for now day how the the political participation is increasing day by day most of the people due to the panchayat raj system they get involved in the political system there are so many examples all across the india uh, particularly the villagers belong to the lower caste and class of voiceless they are they have they know the voting rights slowly slowly they have get the opportunity to the caste to complete the position of power in the village setup so this is how the political changes are taken place in the rural area it is because of the influence of the urban area people get the information they are aware all sort of things which is not exist before it is because of the urban facility and opportunity in, uh, which is make them more changes in the rural area and if you talking about the social influence of uh, uh, urbanization so urban influence on the rural area Been, has been a factor in bringing about the changes in traditional status based on differentiation in rural area traditionally status has been based on the ownership of land however under new set of new set this has lost much of its edge now the status market are income occupation and education if you see the modern education based in urban area bring with its prestige and even there some are more prestigious than other that is white color worker are one higher presidential than blue color worker so these are the things we can changes in the social aspect also how it will changes in the social aspect in the urbanization as well if we see the context of uh, changes in the occupation association and the broader level changes in the lifestyle of the people but certain basic principle of the caste differentiation still remain intact that means we cannot say that totally they are change their everything rather than they have their caste intact still there is some changes also seen that means continuity and changes is going on all across in the family religion caste marriage every aspect it is will be simultaneously going on it is we can say the other aspect of the endogamy rules of inter dining conventionality ritual hierarchy at local level the recent development in rural urban relations however the neighbor uh, highlighted 
fact that the some villagers who have settled in the urban area are not very sensitive to the rural of interdining ritual hierarchy why because they know the reality they know the things what exactly do to do thing is that when the people of the urban area they get aware all sort of thing when they go back to the rural area they do not feel the interdining ritual hierarchy in the rural aspect it is because of the impact of the urbanization in social influence is concerned so for the cultural influence is also concerned which is very important for uh, urbanization is concerned culturally also it is influence lot when you talking about the how the uh, modernization urbanization influence to the rural area whatever in present situation is said whatever is seen in the urban area we can see directly in the rural area also how it is influence the cultural now the people from the rural area also putting jeans singing songs dancing in using internet these are the major influence of the urban area how it's uh, transformed to the rural area particularly we believe that in rural area people are rooted in soil not very rational think we think that they are the superstitions always live in the joint family system moreover it is believed that most of the things are clean and near to the nature compared to the live city in urban area most of the rural area people always they are followed to the city life most of the time they are due to the transportation communication people from the uh, urban area to rural area is no differences there is much more closer to each other that is why it influence more in the cultural aspect also if you see the uh, religions aspect uh, influence in the urban area is concerned uh, particularly uh, when we migrated worker cross across the length and breadth of the country since of emerge uniform of dressing pattern system is concerned it is much more influence in the religions aspect also like way there are so many others aspect like uh, uh, migrations which is very much importance to the uh, influence is concerned uh, is much more in rural area to urban area as well as the urban area to rural area also now the due to the corona virus situation we can truly analyze the things that how the uh, the people from the urban area they are shifting to the rural area due to the pandemic situation of all across the globe which is forced them to send back to the rural area which is more important that means it if you go back to the rural area what they will do definitely they have their own idea what they get from the rural area urban area sorry urban area definitely they want to establish their relationship they want to create another new kind of opportunity they want to whatever they learns from the urban area they have to establish different kind of occupation livelihood in the rural area also so that is how it influence more in the urban set of to rural area so this is all about the influence of our uh, impact of our uh, 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 impact of our uh, urbanization to the rural area we can so, so uh, say all about this is how the rural and urban are more influence in indian context is concerned thank you very much everybody now we are complete thank you so much sir for this elaborative session now i would like thank to request uh, the learners you can ask directly the question and also you can write in the chat box yeah if you have any query i think there are no question sir it's a wonder okay, it was a wonderful session sir and you okay. have conceptual 
its organization and its impact in a lucid manner and thank you very much i i would like to thank also uh, sagatika and dr joyshree and uh, karuna kar so now we can conclude the sessions thank you thank you very much madam thank you thank you thank you ma'am thank you hello madam hello